person and she would always be there for everyone else. Um, and now it's time for us to be there for her. Lifelong friends of Matoka Petri stepping up to support the Portland mother of two. It's our biggest concern right now. Uh, is how are we going to take care of Matoka? Monica Estrada, alongside Hulana Torres and Christine Reber, say their friend will need all the help she can get after an attack along North Columbia Boulevard. Simply, she was walking and was attacked by a pack of dogs. Portland police say last week at a North Portland encampment, several dogs mauled Matoka, sending her to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Two others were injured in an attempt to intervene. It's probably one of the most horrific attacks I've ever, ever, the outcome for her. I mean, it's, I can't believe she's alive. <clears throat> shalom, shalom, Israel. I'm going to start by giving our glory and our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushah, Ba'ashim, Rechah, Kadash. I know that I'm a wife dad to be Florida from the camp of Babylon. Going to the quick hit to the smear part by Shemel Shai. Lord, to edify and feed the sheep. The bonds that I was an apostle, great millstone, teach you well. Peace and blessings to the brother, so pushing his work in church sincerity to the scattered abroad. I just want to go into this lesson. All right, you can see, all right, going into this article. All right, actually, it's video. All right, going into this woman, how she was mangled up. All right, by these uh, pack of dogs, man. All right, which they attacked her on a bright and shiny day where she was just walking and scrolling through the area and uh these dogs attacked her man okay it was at least about eight dogs that attacked her out of nowhere all right which gave her um uh you know a life-threatening pretty much injuries to her to her body all right they 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 you know they ate her, her ear off um her arm all right she was in you know great danger all right quote unquote to uh what the article was speaking I believe it was in a uh, KJW8 news, man. All right, where well, this woman in Portland was attacked. Okay, so um, you know, hey, that you know, you know, put the spirit on me to uh, do a lesson on, you know, just going into spirits created for vengeance, man, because things just don't happen for nothing, man. All right, hey, you have what well, how Bashmal Shah has a set and due date for these things to, you know, um, happen according to when when he say so, man. Okay. And I had a, you had a where these dogs, man, all right, where they took action, man, okay? And it was all set through the spirit, probably how about Shemel Shine? We know it um, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39, where it says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. All right, so the Lord's doing the, you know, the, the, the taking out, man. All right, the Lord's doing the wounding and the heal, uh, healing, man. All right, so nothing just happens for nothing. All right, those are uh, 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 the, the the judgments of how about Shemel Shai, man. When the Lord, you know, take a, you know, person out the game or when the Lord uh, jacks you up, hey, it's all because how about Shemel Shai sanctioned these things to happen. All right, <clears throat> and those dogs had a spirit created for vengeance on them. All right, which leading to the times we're coming into, man. All right, because uh, you have to have in the video where these women are right, speaking on the behalf of this lady. All right, and they were speaking how they said that she needs help. She's going to need help, all the help she can get. All right, nowadays these women have a, a prideful spirit upon them. Okay, and nowadays these women, you know, walk with a masculine spirit. spirit speaking really are starting off with the, the, the head of it. All right, it's Eve, man. All right. And you have it where these women are, are, are moving these same like vibrations, all right. And now they're saying that she might need help, or she needs help, all right. And and, and that you know just brought me to mind. Hey, when, when all hell breaks loose, you know you women gonna need help, man. Okay, you women gonna be in great dangers, in great troubles, man. You know if you walk around here with a prophet spirit, or you walk around here like your shit don't stink, all right, or even uh, uh, you know doing some wickedness, man. Hey. <laughs> you're going to need help in that day, man. All right, because you, you're just going to be troubled left and right. All right. But, uh, you know, as the scripture says, man, the Lord kills and he maketh alive. He wounded, he healed. All right. So when, when judgment plays out on the earth, it's because your Alba Shemar Shah sent forth it to happen, man. All right. Which, um, <clears throat> I'm going to grab that. I'm going to 
spirits created for vengeance is in uh, Ecclesiastes, is known as Sirach. All right, chapter 39, verse 28, it says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in the fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Right, Yahweh Bashimel Shai. Okay, as the scripture tell you that the Lord uh, uh, created good, all right, and evil. All right, he doeth all these things, roughly paraphrasing. All right, how about Shemel Shah is behind these all right, spirits that's created for vengeance and when they take place of action, okay? So when you have these things happening, man, which we're going to see a lot of this in the time of like uh, never before, man. Okay, Jacob's trouble. When you see what you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to be in great distress and enough need, all right? You're going to see a lot of this happening, man. All right, where, where, where animals are going to take action, to, to, to appease the wrath of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, okay, with, which who made them, man, all right? So reading again, it says, um, verse 28, therefore, it's like it, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. So they're constantly waiting for these things, man. And in the time of destruction, they pour out their, their force and appease the wrath of him, that made them, continue verse 29, fire and hell and f famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. So these certain things were created for vengeance, man. All right. And the, 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 the Lord said, he, uh, I believe it's 2 Ezra chapter 15, where he said, uh, for he's going to bring forth what great death and destruction, famine, pestilence, and, and the whole nine, man. You know, the Lord's not playing, man, you know. You seen not only these type of uh, judgments coming out, all right, are taking place, but you seeing spirits hopping on other people and killing uh, 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 loved ones, okay, friends turning against friends, okay, great division, okay, uh, you know, all kinds of certain things, people dying from this type of illness, diseases, sicknesses, all right, these are all what the Lord said, you know, is going to come man, to this place. Okay, and it's only gonna get much worse. All right, it's gonna get more worse than it is today. All right, the evil's gonna to continue to grow here, man, and the Lord's gonna to have to come and put it out. But in verse twenty nine, it says, "Fire and hell, and and famine, and death, all these were created for vengeance." And it continues, verse thirty, teeth of wild beasts. All right, so there you have it with teeth of wild beasts, man. It says, "In scorpions, serpents." And the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. All right, so this is all the things that's gonna take place, man. All right, you said teeth the wild beast. You gonna have, you gonna have where these uh, well, when all hell breaks loose, and these zookeepers, all right, ain't doing their job. These animals gonna get out, man, and they gonna roam wild. You see, and these people who 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 might be hiding somewhere in the alley, all right, he he gonna have a hungry ass lion. Or a hungry ass bear walking down the, uh, 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 Manhattan, walking down goddamn, you know, uh, 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 Cali Street, all right, looking for something to eat on. And the closest thing they're gonna have is the ones that they see in the eye view, man. All right. And in that time, you know, hey, these animals, man, are gonna be ready to munch and attack, all right. They, they, they're gonna be, you know, stirred up from the anger that they've been storing up, all right, through the spirit prayer by Shemar that they had on them for quite some time. Plus the the, the 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 shit that they was going through in, in those cages, man. You see, and there ain't gonna be no escaping from that. All right, and like the scripture says, all right, these it says all these were created for vengeance, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction, man. So if people gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be really crazy out here, man. All right, Jacob's trouble. All right, not only would Jake will be getting jacked up in these times, more more so, all right, of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, but you're gonna have Esau, you're gonna have it, it, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a, a, a great troublesome, okay. And you don't want to get getting around it, all right. But in, in these times, you're gonna see uh, uh, where 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 great death and destruction is gonna take place. Okay, judgment. 
All right. Um, which was leading to this scripture right here. I'm bringing out <clears throat> this is the book of Amos chapter five, verse 18. It says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is darkness and not light. All right, you got a lot of these people who are stuck in their minds of thinking the Lord gonna come back with, 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 with hugs and kisses, man. All right, it's, it's gonna be a, a shiny day up until the kingdom of heaven, man. What it's not, you know, the Lord gonna come back and slaughter, man. It's gonna be a, a very terrifying, terrifying time, man. Okay. It's going to be a day of darkness and not of light. You see, verse 19, it says, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. You see, it's going to be like you continuously trying to run for your life, man. You know, you know, this woman, she, she, she tried to you know, flee for our life. You had others that tried to come and help her, and they end up getting it seriously injured. You see, so it ain't gonna be no uh, be no way where you can get a, around it, man. You know, as you're reading it again, it says, "As if a man did flee from a lion." So you got away from the lion, right? You got you you was able to run down the street, get off of Manhattan, right? It says, "And a bear met him." Now you're back on Cali Street, you see, or went into a house. Now you went into a house. You think you're safe. And it says, and 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 his and and lean his hand on a wall. You think you check it to break? <sighs> and a serpent bit him. So, meaning, you know, no matter where you go, there was going to be destruction on, on each corner, man. Okay, and you won't be hiding in that day. Verse twenty it says, "Shall not the day of the Lord of Israel shine? Be darkness and not light, even very dark." And no brightness in it, you see. So you know, hey, it's gonna be a terrifying time, man. All right, and this is why you gonna want to be in, in 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 you know the right mindset with you know doing what you gotta do for y'all by Chanel Shine, you know, because see this woman, she she done got you know attacked by these wild pack dogs, all right, because uh, she she you know she going on her about her life doing what she want, man, you see. When you have it where, you know, all hell about to break loose. This is going to be everyone in this time, man. A lot of people in these times, you know, uh, getting attacked randomly. You know, what you're going to do when a, uh, they let these people is uh, locked up and, and been doing time for, for, for years. Get out, man. That's been known for doing all crazier things than what we dogs did to this lady. You see? Hey, it's going to be real troublesome once again, man. All right? This is why you need the Lord, man. This is why you're going to need Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. Okay? Not JC, not Buddha, not not Yehuda, not none of these things, man. All right? But Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, which is the true names. All right? A living power, Yahweh by Shemiel Shai, his son, man. Okay? <clears throat> Let me see. Let me grab this right here. This is a book of Amos, chapter 3. Reading verse 6, it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Right. Okay, because you're going to handle this warning being given to you. Are you not going to be afraid? It says, Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord Yahweh shall have not done it? You see? So when these evils come, when these troubles come, when that warning is being given to you, know that it's through Yahweh Shemel Shai, man. Okay. What the what scripture says, um, I quoted it earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and grab it. I believe it was in Isaiah. Isaiah. Let's see. 45 and 7. And it reads, it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, the help I shall shine, do all these things. All right, so when you see uh, these things play out, man, all right, know that Yahweh Bashem Al Shai put the spirit on these uh, 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 either animals or within in, in these actions to take place, okay? Because he he do with all these things, man. He's in control of all these things, you know. And this is a, 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 a high reason, all right, 
of why the Lord is to be feared. Okay. Reading that again, Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Shai, do all these things. Okay, so the Lord is behind all these things that go down. All right, and as you can see, the woman, you know, uh, you know, she got a mandal up, pack of dogs, <clears throat> which shows you that, you know, they completed what they were sent out to do, to appease the wrath of Yahweh Shai. You know, so there you have it, man. You know, you know, this woman, she was attacked. All right. By these, uh, these dogs. All right. On a, ra a random, uh, random, sunny, shiny day, man. All right. Which means it, it can happen at any blue moon. The scripture says when, uh, um, in thy security. All right. That's when the Lord will, you know, bring his pawn, uh, wrath upon you, man. Okay. When you think you're secure, when you're just chilling. All right, and that can go for, for, for anyone, man, any of us, man. So the Lord said be feared, all right? But that was in my spirit to bring it out, you know, once again. Oh, when this lesson was edifying to you, I can walk out to seeking the truth sincerity. I'm going to go ahead and close it out by giving all glory and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushan, by Hashem HaKadosh. Once again, I'm the brother, I'm Wafdan, Tempe, Florida, from the Camp Prophets of Babylon. All right, Shalom.